Hey guys, I am so excited because today we're going to be trying out some things from Emco Beauty. Um, so exciting. I feel like this is better. Okay, so here we go. So this brand has been out for quite a while now. Um, and I've always kind of known about it, but I never really had like the interest to try anything. Then like I've heard Chinex so talking about it like in her last couple of videos and I was like, alright, let's go. And obviously all the dupes and stuff that have been coming out, like they've just, they've intrigued me. So I went on Look Fantastic the other day and did an order. I think they had 20% off, which was great. And then I was at work yesterday and they had 40% off at Woolworths. So I ran down there and grabbed some things. But yeah, first things first, I'm just going to show you what I actually have. First we have the lip scrub. This is the sugar exfoliating balm and it just says clear. So I've got that. We have the Instant Glow Flash Primer. We have the Flawless Glow Luminous Skin Filter. That one. We have the Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand. The Super Glow Blush Drops. And we have the Lip Oil Hydrating Treatment. This is in Sheer Rose. Um, we also have the Instant Erase Concealer. We have the Super Glow Bronzing Drops. We have the Lip Plump 4-in-1 Hydrating Lacquer. We have the um, Souffle Dream Moisturising Cream. And we also have the Watermelon Glow Lip Balm. Which I'm... So, we have some really exciting things to try out. I'm very excited. First things first, we're actually going to get into this lip scrub because I'm going to exfoliate my lips before we start. So, yeah, this is how it looks. I don't know what this one's meant to be a dupe of. I feel like, I don't know why I'm thinking Dior, but could be wrong. I don't know. If you know, please let me know down below. Sometimes, like, I feel like I'm actually so out of the beauty game. Like, anyway, this is really cute. So it comes in this little packaging here and then you open it and it's just pull this thing down here and then yeah we have a little lip scrubber so it doesn't have a scent or is it kind of like minty I don't know anyway so let's try this out let's give it a go okay so I can feel the little gritty bits in there like a little bit it's not as exfoliating as I thought it would be. Like, I thought it would have more of those gritty bits in it. But it feels nice. I don't love that there's no scent because it kind of... The, like, no scent kind of makes me feel a little bit sick. I don't know why. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But it feels nice. So far, so good. All right, so I don't think that I'm going to try out this souffle cream today because I have the Instant Glow Flash Primer. So I think what I'm going to do is um try this out in a different video um also should i put a lip balm on i feel like i need to put the lip balm on like so it's like sticking into my lips while we wait do you know what i mean so this is the watermelon glow lip balm um i think this is meant to be like a dupe of the sunday riley one or no not sunday Riley. is it sunday riley or is it summer fridays or laneige or something like that but anyway this is how this one looks um and yeah i got mine in watermelon Oh my god, I can smell the watermelon already. Is mine like leaking? Or is it just... I probably should have read what it said on the front. Whoops. Okay. Wow, that smells so strong of um, watermelon. So let's give this one a little bit of a go. So yeah, just looks like that. Made in PRC. Where's that? Anyway, that's how that looks. And yet yeah, it smells so strong of watermelon. Looks real cute though. Mmm. Really does taste like watermelon. Yum yum. It reminds me of like a, a lip smack or something. It's really quite pretty though. I feel like it's added a really nice colour to my lips. What do you guys think? It is very glowy, isn't it? Feels really nice, really hydrating. I do really like the flavour. It is um, very heavily like scented though, so if you don't like heavily scented things, you might not like it. I feel like it looks quite pretty. I feel like it gives me the kind of plump look. Like, I've had, like, fresh lip injection, injections or something. Maybe, like, not a lot. But you know what I mean. I quite like it. It's real... 
I like that I could see myself using that like on the daily next thing that we're going to try out is the instant glow flash primer it says it's the perfect makeup base revive lackluster skin create a luminous canvas with or without makeup all day hydration dewy finish instant radiance with lasting glow glow glowing skin enhancer and it just says blend all over face using clean fingers, brush or sponge for extra glow, add a little to cheekbones and other high points of the face over your foundation. So let's give this a go. The one thing I hate is this like this packaging. Also, I don't know what this is duping. If it is even duping anything. But if you know, please once again comment below because I know certain dupes, but I don't know all of them, so this is how it looks the packaging is quite cute um just looks like that very pretty very nice um so yeah so it's to shake it before you use it so make it sure okay just squirt a little on the face i guess like okay Mind you, I feel like my lips still look really nice. I could really quite like that lip balm. All right, let's give this a little bit of a blend in to the skin. I feel like I've got to avoid my lips because I never normally put anything on my lips before like I do any of my makeup. <laughs> so, Mind you, I feel like this concealer might be a problem because we're not using like a foundation. So I'm hoping... I just wiped most of it away, so it's good. But... Okay. Cute. I feel like you can definitely... Sorry, I'm just like looking in my little mirror down here. You can definitely see like the little bit, like the little glowy bits. So that's good. Like I feel like when I'm turning my head, I can see a little bit of glow. So cute. feels nice. feels very like... Um, what's the word? Like I feel hydrated, I feel like. So feels nice. Um, I do know what they mean. I feel like you could kind of just use this out without putting anything on and I like you to just add that nice little healthy glow to your skin. So it's pretty. All right, we are going to be trying out the Flawless Skin Filter thingy now, which I'm a little bit scared about. I know this one. This is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. So it says it's a multitasking formula, smooths and blurs skin, a lightweight skin illuminator. It says it's a four in one. You can wear it alone, you can use it as a primer, you can wear it underneath, mixed with or over foundation, or you can use it as a highlighter. I want to wear it alone today, but that'll depend on how it looks. Can you wear this like that all over thing? I'm kind of hoping to use it as a foundation, but I don't know if, that, if you can do that, so we will find out in a second. But yeah, I'm a little bit scared because <laughs> I feel like. Um, I don't have like any um, experience with a type of product like this, so yeah, I'm just a little bit scared. But okay, so this is how it looks. The packaging is actually very cute. It does look very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. I do you want to mind trying that out? To be honest, but I've got to save up some cash monies for them. Oh my god, because of the primer, I can't get it open. The primer maybe hands free. Okay, what is it? Is it a pump? Oh no. Okay, so it's this kind of thing. I'm scared. I'm gonna apply it to one side of the face, see how it looks, and then yeah, we'll go from there. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I'm a little, I'm really quite scared. I am very, very scared. Okay, I don't know if that's like enough. I feel like. How much are you meant to use? Okay, let's just start blending. Are you meant to use it with a blender? I've never seen someone do this. Good enough. I've seen anyone use the Charlotte Tilbury thing. Maybe I have. I don't know. Okay, it's looking real quite nice. I'm not gonna lie. So lately, because I work on, I'm like doing full time at reception. Like I feel like obviously, I'm not gonna walk, rock up to reception wearing a full coverage foundation. I mean, like a a full on eye look like this. And I also feel like you know, full coverage foundation it sometimes doesn't look that nice. You know what I mean? Um, so I've really tried, been trying to want to like get into like natural, kind of, you know, naturally, more natural makeup. But I don't know how because <laughs> I feel like I started doing makeup in like, you know, the full coverage era. Like, so I don't know how to make that transition to more kind of natural makeup. But this could possibly be the thing. 
Mind you, I went for such a bold look today, eh? and I guess we're using this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really liking it so far. Like, really, really, really. But I need to, we need to keep going and just see, like, I need to see the full finished thing first. Mind you, I feel like you have to put this little stick thing in there so many times. It'd be so much easier if it was a pump, but whatever. Once again, I'm not trying to complain. I'm in such two minds because I love, like, I do love heavy, like, you know, makeup, like, full coverage, like, beat to the absolute nines. But when I think about, like, people, like, say, like, Kathleen Lights and, like, you know, people who are wearing kind of this more natural makeup, it is stunning. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this could possibly be, like, a new favourite. This is so, so pretty. Am I meant to set it? Like, what happens now? Wow. I feel like it just looks so healthy. I don't know how it will wear. But yeah, wow. It's actually really, really, really stunning. I'm actually very shocked. Let's do some concealer. So next we're doing the Instant Erase Concealer. Um, it says, treatment concealer, hydrating formula, covers imperfections, instantly brightens and corrects. And I think this is meant to be um, like a dupe of like the Maybelline one. But I don't know if that's true. But it just reminds me of that concealer that Maybelline used to have. So anyway, I got mine in the shade Ivory. Something I will say about this brand. Shade range is trash. There was three of these. Three shades of these, I'm pretty sure. Um, obviously, it's a cheaper brand, I understand. But I'm just really hoping that... <sighs> I mean, come on. like They could have, like, they definitely could have done better. So that is one thing that I will point out. Okay, I'm giving them a, like, I'm giving them a demerit point. <laughs> I don't know, like I'm giving them like, I'm taking points off them because of this shitty packaging. I cannot get this out. Go! Ah! Why were you not coming out? Please. Maybe I'm just weak or something, but I'm really struggling. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the scissors. I am getting my scissors. I am admitting it to feet, getting my scissors. Goodness. I tell you what though, if I didn't have scissors, I reckon I would have been in a real pinch there. I don't reckon I would have been getting that open. Unless I used my teeth or something, but... Alright. Finally, we almost have it out. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my god, that was a bloody lot. Alright, so this is how the concealer blinds you. Now that I've got it out, I feel like it feels so small. So I have this little puff thing on the top. Does it come out of the puff? If it does, I don't know if I love that. I think it comes out of the puff. <sighs> I don't mind it for like... Oh my god, there goes the top of it. I don't mind the whole puff stitch for like... Um, you know, like blushes and things like that. But I don't know how I feel about it with like... With a concealer. I'm a little bit scared how this is going to perform over the top of this. Just because like... It's not like a foundation. Do you just keep twisting? Does it come out of the puff? Oh my god! I have a workplace injury. I don't know if you can see that, but I've just cut myself open on this Emco Beauty packaging. I feel like I need to report them or something. Girl, what is happening here? Am I missing something? I can see the product going down. So like, where is my concealer? What? Oh, it's in there. Okay. Whoops. Was I meant to do that? I feel like I just used half of it. I'm so confused. Anyway. Maybe I don't mind the puff. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun, you know? Let's give that a bit of a blend. Okay, what do we think of the concealer? It definitely brightens. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's nothing like, it's no like insane coverage or anything like that, but it is quite a nice like brightening fresh concealer. Like I feel like it's probably, it's not one that I would use with like a full coverage foundation, but it looks stunning with the rest of these products. So not bad. All right, what I am gonna do is take a tiny little bit of powder, which I really kind of don't wanna do, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm stressed, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, and just set the concealer. I don't know if that's gonna... 
I have to, I'm one of those girls, I just have to set my face, I'm sorry. I do have to set my face so I'm like my concealer and stuff or I just will feel uncomfortable. Right. I've tried, it's definitely mattified the face obviously, putting a powder on it is always going to do that but I feel like it'll like still look fine so anyway. Now's a bit I'm scared for. I don't really know how to use these. These are the Super Glow Bronzing Drops. So do I just like kind of sit them around the forehead and blend them out like a bronzer? It says it's a multitasking bronzing serum. Instantly hydrates and brightens. Infused with antioxidants. It says soft glow finish. Wear alone or mix with skincare. Suitable for all skin types. So it tells you to add a glow to your serum oil or moisturizer for a natural golden glow. For a more intense glow, apply directly to the skin on top of your base makeup. Should you wish to apply a sun-kissed glow anywhere, simply add a couple drops to your body moisturizer. So I'm going to take it very sparingly and see if I can actually like bronze with this like how you would normally, if that makes sense. I'm a little bit scared, but let's try it out. These are meant to be the Drunk Elephant, the dupe of the Drunk Elephant ones, I'm pretty sure. The packaging is so cute, by the way. Like this stuff doesn't look like you would buy it at the supermarket. And there's nothing wrong with supermarket makeup, but obviously... There is a very big difference between, you know, high-end and stuff that you do get at the supermarket because obviously high-end stuff is high-end because there is more money going into packaging and um, things like that. You know what I mean? So, all right. I'm scared. How many times can I say that I'm scared? But I am. So I'm just going to put some... Oh, it looks very bronze. Okay. I'm going to put tiniest bit of my sponge and like see if we can get a bit of like a forehead bronze going here I don't know if that's like what it's designed to do but I feel like I didn't really like see anything happen just then maybe I didn't use enough okay I'm going in with a bit more I'm really I could really just rule my whole makeup here if I if this doesn't pan out There's a bit more colour here. Can put a bit more on. Okay, okay. It's actually, because it's so serum I feel like it blends out pretty well, so that's good. I actually feel like, once again, it's not something that you're going to wear with your super full coverage foundation, but with the rest of this kind of like natural stuff, it looks good. Okay, so yeah, you can see when it first goes on, it looks pretty daunting and then you... Blend it out and it's, it's really not that bad. Okay, I'm actually kind of very much, very living for this. I feel like this is like a kind of um, high maintenance for me. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be that high maintenance. Like, if this was all I had to do in the morning, it was good to go. Like, because, you know, you wouldn't do your eyeshadow with this or anything, like you know normally but even though I do have like heavy eye makeup on it still looks good you know what I mean like it doesn't look out of place oh god I'm actually like so far you can probably tell but I'm actually real thoroughly impressed I'm not gonna lie okay next we have the blush drops so I feel a bit more confident using these now that I've done the bronze drops because I was real stressed about them these are the super glow blush drops multitasking blush serum peachy pink buildable wash of color infused with antioxidants once again, you can wear this alone, or you can mix it with skincare. Um, so yeah, they had a couple of shades of this. I got mine in peachy pink. <clears throat> Once again, this was also a Drunk Elephant dupe. Looks so pretty. I love this. Does that not look so nice? It looks like the... Um, you probably can't see it back there, but back there I have a little mini tiny of the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. Oh, I've got a, a big one here, but they used to come in like a square bottle, and it looks kind of similar. You know the pink like lid anyway so it says that this one's buildable so i feel like this one might have a little bit more color in it you know what i mean so i'm actually gonna shake it first this one sounds way more pretty than the bronzy drops did anyway so yeah, i'm gonna take this one like a little bit less just gotta make sure i've got all that bronzer off the sponge Looks so pretty though. That is real pretty, uh, really nice. Wow, what a stunning blush shade. 
And it's so glowy as well. Oh my god. I feel like I just... I don't know if I'm translating how much I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this makeup. I feel like lately I've really been like reinvigorating my love for makeup and this stuff is this is helping. All right, now we have this. This is the Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand, which I'm also a bit scared about, but everything else has worked out so far. So I think that we should be all right with this. I got mine in Champagne Glow. And they've got quite a few shades of this, I think. So, or like five or something, you know. So, still not a, like heaps, but something, I guess. And these are also meant to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, they also have the contour and the like blush ones, but I obviously just got the other stuff first. Do you, is it a pull cap? Oh, okay. It's one of this, these little things. I'm a bit scared. Every time I do the. Oh. You have to turn it on or off. LOL. Is that on or is that off? How do I know? Oh, on. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the day that one of these like explodes in my face. Okay, it's coming through. Tap it on there. Okay, it's blended out. I'm not gonna lie, my fingers actually have real hurting where I um, cut it with the cardboard. They're lucky that their makeup products are so nice, otherwise I'd be annoyed. No, I wouldn't really, but the fact that their products are nice does help for the fact that they injured me. Wow, is that not just so beautiful? Wow, wow, wow. I know that I seem like I'm sucking up their ass, but I genuinely think that these products are really nice. I had to actually like put up her Instagram post today and I was like, I'm not sponsored by M Grow Beauty because I feel like I've been posting like, I just came out of the woodwork and just started posting about them heaps. But I have like, I get like hyper fixated on things like I'm weird. How stunning is my base looking? Like, what? What is going on? I feel like it looks so pretty right now. Um, I am going to set it and I don't know how this is going to go. But what I am going to do is take my one of my um, hourglass powders and I feel like they're pretty good. Like they're good at setting your face without taking all the shine. So let's do that. Or all the glow I should say, not shine. They also do have a setting powder um, like Emco Beauty does. That's meant to be a dupe of like the Tal Charlotte Tilbury setting powder but it's it was out of stock when I looked so all right so this is the hourglass ambient lighting powder in lighting infinity powder so I feel like it's pretty good like it should hopefully just set everything but like not take any of that glow oh stone in so pretty all right what I'm gonna do let's try out this lip pump plump lip pump <laughs> lip plump this is the four in one hydrating lacquer Mine is in Lily Dusty Pink. It says four in one gloss volume enhancer balm and lacquer. Isn't that five? Gloss. Oh, sorry. Gloss volume enhancer balm and lacquer. <laughs> Long lasting hydration. High shine tinted colour. Melt instantly melts onto lips. I swear this is meant to also be um, duping something, but I don't know what it is. So I can't keep up with all the... 2023 and like 2024 so far were really like the year of like blush and lip products. Oh, the lid came off before. Okay. Cute. Very cute. I feel like Tarte have something like this or I don't know. Alright, let's give this a go. I feel like my lips still look real nice from those products I used before and they feel so hydrated. I just kind of rubbed the excess off. But do they not look pretty? I feel like they look nice. Alright, so I think you like me to like doing anything. I can't tell if it's just like real subtle or if it's not doing anything. Oh, I think it might be though. Yeah, okay, definitely it's, it's just very, very subtle, which is good because you don't want to like pump it once and have it like, you know. It does melt on your lips, well. Wow. When I said it melts on your lips, they were not lying. That shit is like butter. Wow, I don't know like if it's too much like butter. I don't think I really love this colour. 
on me and it's very very slippy I feel like maybe I put way too much on oh my god it's tingling okay anyway what I am gonna do I'm gonna leave this to like kind of do its thing because I really wanted to try this lip oil as well um, but I need to go and like fix my hair anyway so I'm gonna like leave the lip oil lip plumper to do its kind of thing and then I'm gonna go fix my hair and then yeah I'll be back and we can try that lip oil. okay this is the finished look I am loving it um I don't really love this lip thing just the color like it it's tingling a little bit but like it's not it's nothing like major and it's not like annoying or anything like that I just don't really like the color of it at least not with this um, makeup. But I do want to try out. Oh my god. Of course I've just got bloody um, stuff all stuck to it. Okay, anyway. I want to try out the lip oil. I feel like it looks pretty like this, like when it's rubbed off. But anyway, let's try out this lip oil. Um, I feel like this is meant to maybe be a dupe of the Dior one. I don't know. But this is in Sheer Rose. So let's give it a go. Does it smell? Yeah, it does. Kind of? Does it? Yeah. Kinda. Yeah, I think it has like a subtle rose hint to it. It actually tastes real good. It's like rose scented, but I love it. Mm, I love rose. I have little bits of cotton pad stuck to my lips so oh, it's kind of annoying I actually quite like this lip oil I feel like the lip oil is really pretty all right finished look guys overall I am so 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 thoroughly impressed um ugh. my camera is um about to run out of storage so I can't ramble on for too long but I thoroughly enjoyed everything the things that didn't really make an impact were this little like lip scrub I don't it's nothing special I don't think but everything else I really liked so so much my favorite being probably this I also love the blush I think that's stunning um what else was and I really I like this lip oil a lot um and the this I'm so excited to try out this souffle cream but we'll give that a go in another video but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one bye